we go on to Paolo Bertolini. He is head of Department of Protection and Improvement of Agricultural Food Products of Cryov in Italy. And he is going to talk about safer and innovative methods for the control of post-harvest rots of apple and peach. Please, Paolo. Thank you, Lucas. Good afternoon to all. Uh, the aim of this work package was to provide a post-harvest treatment strategy for rot prevention without pesticide, thus reducing contamination of the environment and providing consumers with a safer fruit that can be eaten with their skin. The participants to this uh, work package were the Wageningen University PPO, the University of Bologna CRIOF, the East Morning Research Center, the Irta Pathologia de Postcolita and uh, the University of Zemblu. Uh, what is changed during the development of Isofruit project? Um, the aim of uh, the project was to provide fruit without residues of post harvest treatment. But uh, during these years, the, uh, the request of the retailers particularly in Germany and also in some other European countries, to reduce the number of residues uh, to no more than four uh, has completely changed the first aim because at the very beginning of our project we simply want to reduce the residues of the fruit, on the fruit. But now this is uh, mandatory to uh, reduce the, this residue to four. So the question now is, then, Will there be any room for pesticide treatment in post-harvest? The reduction of the number of residues to less than four, or a maximum four, requested to, by the wholesaler, is incompatible with the post-harvest treatments because these four residues are determined are caused by the pre-harvest treatment for the prevention of pests, disease, and so on. And so there is no any more room for other pe pesticides in the post-harvest. So the priority is for the pre-harvest treatment. Our reference points to achieve the aims. Confidence of consumer on food safety should be closely related to the economic sustainability by reducing also rot losses at home. This was one of the reference points for our action. And the proposed treatments should be safe and easy to apply in the packing house. Finally, the whole processes from the lab to the industrial application should be completed before the end of the fruit project. Uh, Why we focused our attention, our, our uh, activity mainly on the hot water and I will say also on other fields? Because as was mentioned also in in the previous, um, in the previous uh, presentation, the registration of uh, uh, post harvest treatments, let's say uh, generally recognized safe substances or biological control agents, are quite difficult in the European community. If you look at uh, Rebecca, uh, which is a website of uh, a, a European policy sustained action, uh, you will find that to register a biological control agent or a natural substance within the European Union uh, are requested seven years, while in the United States only two years are needed to register a biological control agent or a natural substance. So, if you want to, at the end of the project, to give it to the uh, um, growers uh, or to the packing house manager a technology alternative to the a pesticide, we cannot rely on grass treatment or biological control agents because to register a natural substance or a biological substance, seven years are needed. In fact, we have one of these biological control agents pre stop that the, the, the registration procedure was started at the, in the year 2006 at the early beginning of the project and it is not finished yet. So, this is what the main reason why we focus that on hot water teachers. That seems uh, an old technology, but we, we find out that it was possible to modify the way of hot water treatment and to make this technology compatible, compatible, compatible sorry, <laughs> with the uh, speed of the working line. 
most of the work that were done in the previous years uh, were focused on the hot water dipping for, let's say, three, four, five minutes, mm -hmm. which is incompatible with the speed of a working line. So we, f we wanted to find the uh, temperature and the dipping time that was compatible on the, with the speed of the working line. Um, we worked, of course, on integrated and disease management uh, um, food and those organic produced. And uh, I mentioned this slide, we, the activity of watering is, to, is mainly removes and kills fruit pathogens, but also human pathogens. So this action is very important also for the health of the consumer. Uh, we, within the generally recognized safe treatment, uh, we evaluated 12 uh, network substances. The most effective are isotocinate and trans hexanal, which is an aroma compound. And we tested various food additives, uh, <coughs> potassium sorbate, sodium bicarbonate, and so on. And also, as I mentioned before, uh, we, we choose uh, two um, biological control agents for the control of post disease in apples and two yeast for, uh, to, for the control of brown rot in peaches. And finally, we um, also combined hot water treatment with grass and hot water treatment with biological control agent. Uh, we tested the 17 cultivars of peaches and nectarines, white and yellow flesh, uh, organically produced or with integrated disease management. And as we, the main rot, probably 80 to 90 percent of the rot in peaches are caused by monilinia, various species like Laxa, fructigen, and fructicola. In the year 2009, we evaluated the activity of hot water treatments at 60 degrees for 20 seconds. In, uh, with um, various vari uh, varieties of uh, peaches and nectarines uh, produced with a, a integrated disease management or organic production. You see that uh, uh, in, uh, when we treated fruit produced with uh, integrated disease management, we have an efficacy index of 88%. But when we, we treated the organic produced fruit, the, the efficacy index was lower. Why? Uh, probably because the infection in the organic produced fruit are deeply, deeply seated, so it's not easy for the heat to reach the fungus which is inside the, 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 the skin or, or under the skin. This probably is one of the main reasons why the, the treatment are, were not so successful as uh, they were in the integrated disease management. Uh, in the previous year, we have excellent results uh, treating uh, uh, the peaches and nectarines with hot water at 60 degrees for 20 seconds. And uh, the efficacy index, as you see, is very high, always above 80% in both years. Uh, so, uh, we have also uh, we have done also experiment as I mentioned before with grass treatments. Uh, in this case, we have uh, evaluated the activity of potassium sorbate, which is uh, a, a food additive widely used in the food and beverage, and is considered very safe food additive. So we evaluated the efficacy of this compound on uh, nectarines and uh, in the, uh, and peaches. We evaluated the efficacy of this treatment comparing the fruit uh, kept dry, fruit dipped in water, control wet, and also treated with potassium sorbate. You see that uh, in, the, 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 in Big Top, the reduction of the, of the incidence of rot was very high. The same in Star Gold. But when we uh, uh, dipped the fruit, uh, the, sorry, the uh, peaches, instead of nectarines in water, we find out that the, con the wet contrast of the fruit dipped in water had the highest incidence of rot than in comparison with nectarines, which were which had the reverse. Uh, probably the, the hairs of the, of, of the peaches uh, keep the, the spores inside or, or in contact with the skin of the fruit, so the, 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 the the spores are not removed, and by wetting the, the spores, 